She likes to come and go whenever she wants. But one day, things started appearing in front of my door. Some wooden piece to something. I don't know. I was like, I gotta get a camera. That's when I noticed she had been stealing from the neighbors. She has brought me fireworks, darts, a box of cigarettes, pieces of wood. Oh my God. What are you building? Huh? What are you building? A cat toy that she stole from some other cat. What'd you bring me? <laughs> it's a little gift. Thanks, China. She knows that things go together. She brought me one sock and she'll go back and she'll get the other sock. I had to sneak around with her and I felt like I was her accomplice. China? No, go put it back. You take it. This is the second batch of things that she's brought me. I'm gonna have to toss this one out too. China, you need to stop stealing things. Please, this is embarrassing. I ended up waiting until I got her inside and that's when I would drop their things off and she would come back with it like, hey, what are you doing? I thought I brought you this and I was like, I can't go on. I can't, we're gonna get caught. We're gonna get caught. So I put everything in a bag and I dropped it off in front of their door with a little note and the next day I got a text message from them. After I came clean and they were okay with it, I told them we need to set up a system. So I ended up setting up the little return box. Just leave that there for them. So now she'll wake up around 10 in the morning. She'll punch in and she'll go down and she'll start stealing. There she goes. I'm on her way to visit the neighbor's backyard. See what they left for her. All right, so China brought me another Halloween. Meal. So we're gonna take this over to the neighbors. <laughs> She's a strong, independent woman. She knows what she wants. She doesn't need no help. That's how I would describe her and her stealing. Let's see what she has. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Piece of cement. We're just so happy neighbors. Love animals. Got lucky. <laughs>